Anthony Beck, the St. Louis head coach, was a guest on Character and Solemn Smallman on ESPN 101. He talked about getting the XFL coaching job, pairing with St. Louis, his coaching staff, the XFL draft, practicing with the D.C. team, and more. Definitely hitting the rounds this week, but this one was where he had the most and kind of interesting information out of all the interviews he did. He talked about when to expect the name to the drop and if St. Louis will be called the Battlehawks. Quote, I'll say this, obviously, I'm not dropping any announcements today, and that will be determined. It will be out shortly, but the league is going to do the best thing for all the teams, or whether it's tweaking some names for some cities, not tweaking some names, keeping the same name. They know what's important, and they know it sells. So don't worry, St. Louis. I'd very be stunned if your Battle Hawks didn't come back. He also went on to say, so I'll keep it at that. We'll see what happens, but I'm excited about the name drop when we have that date set and the fans can kind of get excited about it i think everybody's going to be happy close quote there you go that's why i think they're keeping the battle hawks beck said that 66 players will be drafted per team and the xfl draft uh, uh, then cut down to 54 when the season starts then also mentions the xfl draft date quote and of course the draft will be in mid-november we have november 16th i believe so there's a lot of work to be done close quote so there you have it at least the first tentative date of November 16th, which I believe is a Wednesday, something to keep in mind in the middle of the football week. He talks about the Dallas Hub and gives some insight on how practices will work. He said, quote, so myself and Reggie Coach, uh, Reggie Coach Barlow, who is the D.C. team, will practice at the same facility in the Arlington area, and it's great. I mean, it will be a way to practice against each other when we have to, We'll have parts of the day where we're going to do our own thing. We'll never cross paths until we have some of those scrimmages, but it is having the best people, the best trainers, everything held in the same spot. It's easier. So there you have it. So this is how they're going to break it down. So it would be something like the St. Louis team will practice in the morning in that facility. The D.C. team will practice later on. They could also scrimmage each other if they wanted to do at some point, like we've seen in some of the NFL teams lately. Uh, you know, they'll scrim- scrimmage against each other for a couple days. This is the kind of thing the XFL do. And what the beauty is of it is that they don't have to bring in their own trainer. I mean, basically the same trainers will be in the same spot. So they'll work with the D.C. team in the beginning and then the St. Louis team. And, and you basically share resources, saving money, and that's the whole go. He talks about XFL teams playing in their cities they represent. He said, quote, I think the number one thing is we're going to have to be in the cities playing the games, and that's going to be the most important thing. We're going to be able to build something with the fan base. The fan base can get excited about a team every week, and that's what will be great. But I think the hub idea is a good start to get the league off the ground, close quote. So thinking about what the USFL has done, and that was the problem. There was no connection between the fans and the teams the XFL is going out of their way already. Have Reggie Barlow hitting the media circuit. You have Anthony Beck hitting the media circuit in St. Louis. Could we get other coaches during the next couple of weeks do a hitting that media circuit before we get to the XFL announcement of team names? I think that seems to kind of be the plan. We haven't heard anything this week. We will have to wait later in the week. Uh, they also talk about in the interview the Dome, the Battle Hawks name, the culture of the team, XFL rules, and so much more. So if you want to take a listen to that whole interview, head over to xflnewshub.com so you can check out the article. But November 16th, XFL draft date not confirmed, but at least mentioned. We're just going to have to find out as it gets closer. 